I'm doing okay. I'm feeling okay. I feel a little better now that I started talking. I was kind of woke up, kind of was feeling, I had a hard day yesterday, to be honest with you. It was Easter Sunday. Uh, I didn't have any huge plans. I'm uh, coming at you from Naperville, Illinois, a town of about 145,000 people, uh, 35 miles west Chicago, uh, west of Chicago. I'm uh, recently divorced for the second time. I have four beautiful children uh, that live primarily with their mamas. And it's hard being a divorced dad. And it's hard, I mean, I'm sure it's hard being a divorced mom, but I can't share that experience. I can only share the experience that I have. And it's really hard being a divorced dad. You're trying to fit in, you're trying to be loving, you're trying to be supportive, you're trying to be a father, uh, but on a very limited schedule. And yesterday was hard for me because I didn't feel I fit in. I felt like I was almost interrupted. And I don't want to get all watery-eyed on a Monday morning, uh, but I felt like I was kind of interrupted. Uh, I stopped by my, uh, uh, I have two beautiful little babies uh, with my second ex-wife, and I stopped by their house. Uh, my plan was to pick up my kids and get them all together and take them out to breakfast and enjoy the day and uh, bring them back to their mamas safe and sound. And I mean, it worked, it worked, it worked. And I think they kind of appreciated it. But it was a lot of driving, a lot of, you know, for a short little blip of time. And looking at my fatherhood experiences, short little blips of time is kind of a bummer for me. Um, yeah. And I kind of dreamed of more, expected more, hoped for more, but for some reason that wasn't in my plans. And I'm now, uh, yeah, <laughs> I've got two older girls, uh, 16 and 14, who live about, I don't know, 25 minutes away with their mom. And I have two younger kids, a boy and a girl, uh, that live with their mom, I don't know, 15 minutes away. And for me, fatherhood's, you know, something I dreamed of and something I always wanted and I wanted to do it right. I wanted to do it better than my dad did and all this other stuff. And here I am. And I think that's probably one of the biggest disappointments that I've been struggling with in life. And one of my sadnesses uh, that I'm not with the kids when they wake up in the morning. 